Hey there, boys and girls of the YouTube world. Today, me, myself, and I, because they don't accept pets, are gonna go to the Art Olson swap meet at the Red River Valley Fairgrounds, West Fargo, North Dakota. We're gonna take a uh, old white lightning up there, about a 100 mile trip, and uh, see what we can find. So uh, it's pretty early here. We're gonna get there, hopefully. They open the gates at eight, so get there about then, and uh, see what we can find. Check the oil, got gas in it. Should be good to go. Just gonna be a long, slow trip with a whole bunch of wind noise because that's what White Lightning does. I think this is put on by the uh, Red River Valley Horseless Carriage Club. I think this is their 50th year, somewhere in there. Pretty good little swap meet. Seems like it always rains, sure enough. It's a little bit this morning, so we're gonna go check it out, see if we can't find some deals. Park next to a cute little red Studebaker. This guy apparently knows who we are, pointing at us. All right, let's go see what we can find. Looks like they got a, ooh, 57 Caddy. 300 horse, 5,700 bucks. This car's been around. It's got some neat character. And then a uh, 58 Ford with a 351 W and a C6 and a 9 inch for 17 grand. I saw this at a garage tour. A 41 Chevy with a small block. And a Buick, both the same vintage. So they do have a little car show here. And then they got the swap meet, and then they got the car corral. I guess I could have drove lightning in, but you know me, I'm not really a car show guy. So, let's see what else we can find. I like seeing the cars that are here. There was a straight axle. Ooh, there's a 88 to 94 OBS. Well, maybe 95 to 98 short bed. Cowl hood. Lowered Colorado. All kinds of cool stuff. All right, made our first pass through. Let's take another lap through, show you what they found. Oh, 62 bubble. 33 Plymouth Coupe. This one's sold. I think he had it on Facebook for 17 grand. Mmm, headers. Cool banjo axle halves and the jack stands. Way better than Harbor Freight.
There's uh, Mr. Doloff from Doloff Antiques making his YouTube. Go check him out, Myrtle, South Dakota. We're gonna sneak in and round up all the stuff we bought. Couldn't bring Duff with because you read it right there. No pets. Ooh, work trucks. Oh, I ruined it. It's lowered. You can't haul anything. Look at all the wheels and tires in that thing. All right, let's go. Uh, look at the, ugh, the the car shows. What the French late models? I got the Cavalier. The side pipes. A hood scoop, custom graphics, Ooh. Mopar, Challenger RT, I think one of these E-bodies, something like that, A-bodies, I don't know, I want one. Big car show guy, brought his towels with, gotta open the hood. Oh, look at this door gap though. Terrible. Fancy seats. Got some schmoo under the back window. Fix that. Oh, he even brings his own suction cup to put the car show stuff up there. I thought that was your car over there. No flexi hose though, at least. So good for him. Pontiac, late model, Fury, 61 Impala Bubble, Falcon, 47 Chev Coupe with flames, and Buick portholes, and louvers, Falcon convertible, 72 Chevy pickup. Swept line, long bed, 63 Grand Prix, eight lugs, everything. 62 Valiant, late model, mm, bug dingers. Little 33 for uh, Plymouth Coupe, 38 Chev. Oh, 60 Chev. It's got the Blackhawk uh, toolbox. What is this thing? Mopar? Roadrunner with a blower. Square body, 55 Nomad, big wheels. Binder. Molly truck. Molly pickup. Bugsy's 37. Ford pickups, chop, LS. All right, 62 Imperial, 58.9 Chevy pickup, tri power, straight axle. That's pretty cool. RV Motors wall haul. All the bugs, 56 Ford pickup. I'm gonna have one of those someday, someday. That. Nice little 32 5 window. Crew cab, rat rod, Dodge Thinger. Big block, 71 El Camino. Nice little 39 Chev two door for sale. There's that 62 bubble. It's a cool car. 327 auto. Having on AC. 67 Camaro, Craigers, the White Letters. Advanced Design GMC, Lincoln Continental, 58 Chev 2 door post, 
51 Chevy uh, tour sedan. 73 Torino? Nope, 72. 60 El Camino with an LS. Big old Buick. 71 Chev, four wheel drive. Model A pickup. Rat rod. T bird. Oh, and then there's this T bird. I'll just leave it at that. Vet. Well, fridge tow truck. 59 apparently. It's got kind of a neat bed on it. Oh, yeah. Hopefully he uses it like Bernie. Yeah, that T-Bird is uh, something else. The white letters pretty much tell you what's going on there with the trailer wheel. 69 Roadrunner? 70. I'm getting better. I like the slots. Even the white letters are almost acceptable. A little Valiant with a V8. Buick with a nail head. A little red. I'm going to get one of those one day too. Maybe it's a knockoff. <laughs> Buick. GSX. I'm going to walk around tomorrow, so. Another yep. Buick. Advanced design. The old Cuddy. More late models. Ooh. Okay, I really want a original ish Camaro. Rough around the edges. That thing's cool. 58.9 GMC, G body El Camino, earlier El Camino, 65, Mustang, I don't know what's going on there, oh it's front wheel drive 3800 so it'll run forever, apparently it's uh, part of a Bonneville, and uh, something else, it's Bonnie and Clyde, it's, it's named. 59 vet crew cab bump side the model a coupe all the model a's 289 coupe sedan 40 chev four door 66 convertible impala super sport 66 catalina i like that color that's cool 62 Bullet Bird, 35 Chevy four door. These things are neat, suicide doors all the way around. Factory artillery wheels. They're giving rides in that thing today. Looks like it's a curved dash holes replica. Maybe, no idea. Cool little square body with a service bed on it. Camaro convertible, 67. God, they're all 67s today. It says it's a 59, but it's only got single headlights. Somebody must have uh, swapped the clip. Here's uh, Reggie's car. Model A sedan. I think it's a Morris Minor. Mercury, 64. They're neat cars. Similar to a Ford, but a little bit more class. 66 Chevelle with a big block. Stewed with a V8. GTO, Tri Power. 67? 66. Be a four speed. Oh, yeah. Four speed car. First gen Chargers. These things really haven't commanded the value of the second gen, but cool cars nonetheless. Bucket seats all the way around consoles that run the entire length of the car and yeah, they're pretty cool v8 got the poly in it 64 polera first gen vet 66 super sport nice little grand prix and all the 66 super sports today this one's got a small block in her 64 ford Ooh, she's an XL with a nice interior. Yeah. Little 53 Chevy Custom. Tiffany's sister on the hood. Nice gal. Needs a Mortsky sticker on this thing though. 
pretty neat car. What is this? The Cutlass Salon. She's Hearst equipped. Is it? Is it really? Barn find. Four speed manual, the Buick V6. Sure enough. Wild. You never know what you might see. All right, we're gonna head home and I'll show you what we got. I might swing in the old jail beer, see if we can't grab lunch on the way out. All right, got her loaded up. Junk on the inside, junk on the back. Oh, 67 Chevy pickup. Ooh, river up. Six cylinder life. The Red River Valley Horseless Carriage Club. That's what you gotta look up if you wanna come to this thing. All right, I'm gonna go grab some petroleum because uh, white lightning, believe it or not, overdrive and a 235, not good on fuel. And we're gonna head for home and get back to work because we got things to do. We gotta pick up that one too. All right, let's see you through the tour of what we got at the old swap meet. Set of uh, G7815 white wall roller tires. We can use these to uh, mock something up. What are they? Cushion air. It's French air for a. cushion air. Poly four inch. I'm guessing that's a four inch white line. Uh, old truck guy likes these for mocking up his stuff. So he comes and gets them, he can have them. Otherwise, we'll find a home for him, maybe. So this is a seat, allegedly. 35 to 41 Ford pickup guy had 300 bucks on it. I gave him, got him down to two and a quarter. He wouldn't go for two forever. And we got that 38 Ford pickup. We're gonna start working on that one of these days. But we got a really nice school bus looking seat for it. I wish it had something cool on it, but then again, it's 200 bucks. It's all original stuff, original paint, original padding. It's in pretty freaking good shape. And you don't get much for a seat for 200 bucks, and it looks way better than putting some stupid, like 1996 Chevy Cavalier or S10 bucket seats in your pickup. So somebody's obviously reworked them, judging by the plywood, but nice seats. So, Shin, these were the uh, tries of the whole swap meet. These are ET polish slots, 15 by 10. They are a Unilog, but they're in good shape. He gave us, he was really proud. Murphy was his name. I'll show you. That in a minute. Mickey Thompson, Indy Profiles, had these on his 73 Z28 that he still got. License plates say Ludite. If you don't know what a Ludite is, it's somebody who refuses to acknowledge technology. So he's a carburetor and points ignition type of guy. He says it's aimed at the Tesla folks, whatever that means. So, uh, like I said, these things, it's telling Chin they don't fit. Tens never fit anything I got, but. They're just too cool looking to pass up. And they're Unilog, so fit four and a half, four and three quarter, and five. Let's see if we can show you what's going on. So right here, so he, uh, he put his name in the back, Murphy, and his social security in there. Probably blur out the uh, <laughs> SSN, eh? Yeah, then he went and scratched out the social security because he felt like a, but anyway. The back lip is kind of, I don't know, they didn't have a good way to mount him back in the day. They didn't have rim clamps, so it's kind of busted up there, unfortunately. But nobody will see that, and it doesn't affect the beat or the functionality. Like I said, these are ET fours, fifteen by ten. America. So yeah, pretty cool wheel. I ended up giving him, uh, I think, three fifty for a pair of those. So <clears throat> had to pony up a little bit. Oh, that one's full of juice. No extra charge for the water that came in that tire. It was blue, so it must have been like Powerade or something. Smurf juice. Mm. Anyway, 44 to wheel. I think these are like a 16 by 4. This thing is really, really nice. 15 bucks. Um, they're a good looking wheel. And the fine one that isn't all rusty in there. That was a steal. Hopefully, it's straight. These are like engine stands or carts or whatever to bolt your small block Chevy to. Same guy had this. And he's like, I don't know, five bucks? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. You can't buy the steel for that. It's already drilled. So what I'll probably end up doing is tying them together and then put caster wheels on them so we have carts that roll around because we're always killing small block Chevys and we can't throw them outside so we make carts. So here is a TSC, I don't know, utility box, toolbox thing. Kind of got a similar one on the other side of the rollback. 
So we'll put a second one on the other side because the other one's full. Guy wanted 25 bucks. He got him down to 20. I'm sure these are 200 bucks, probably or more. So another project for Mojo. Guess these guys ran these for one season. Mickey Thompson ET Street Radio Pro, but they're 275, 60, 15. Uh, probably can't run them at the track anymore. Probably shouldn't run them on the street. Definitely won't be doing that. But they're a good mock-up tire, and I gave 75 bucks for the pair, so pretty cheap. And if we really wanted to give something a drag look. Yeah. These are the first things I bought when I walked in. These are a 15 by 8 chrome reverse. Uh, I believe they're a four and a half and four and three quarter bolt pattern. Nice thing about that dual bolt pattern, it's kind of like Unilog, you can put it on anything. Ford, Mopar. Small GM car. Uh, they're 15, so you can get some decent tires on them. But these have a, a sucky part of us. They got a crazy big offset, so we kind of leave it on applications. But first thing I saw when I walked in, guy had 50 bucks on him. I wasn't even gonna dicker at that. That was cheap. Uh, 32 Ford, three window, passenger door armrest. I don't know if you guys know anything about 32 Ford stuff, but it's stupid crazy expensive. So this is probably going down to Oklahoma to either Charlie or Slick. I gave uh, 40 bucks for that. And then a 32 Ford door latch, three window. Of course, all the stuff is different between sedans, 510 coupes, roadsters, three window sedans, or three windows, three window coupes. So. Yeah, but 32 Ford stuff is big money, and then especially you get into three window coupes. So I figured that was a pretty good deal. I messaged those guys and they said, yeah, snag them up. We'll, we'll, we'll take care of you. Oh, here's our, our uh, lug nuts. He even gave us the, the locking lug nuts, which I've never seen one that design before. And he failed to give us a socket. So those will probably go right in the trash. And this, I don't know if this was the deal of the day or the coolest thing I got or what have you, but I'm like, I saw that. You know what that is, Chin? It's a Nomad tailgate skin. Look at you with all of the stainless. Oh, nice. I gave a hundred bucks for it. I didn't negotiate. It seems pretty nice. And uh, I just want to be like DD Speed Shop because that guy's he's, he's pretty much my hero. Only because he gets to snuggle Danny at night. But anyway, uh, Nomad tailgate, Nomad stuff's crazy. It came with all the trim. He had a hundred bucks on it, and I thought it'd be a really cool wall hanger. And once I've had my fun with it, I should be able to make some money on it. So, trying to figure out what color to paint that. I kind of want to keep it like a 50s color, like a turquoise or something like that. Maybe, um, aqua. Yeah, maybe blue, like a, maybe like a gold. We could put some lettering on it. And then I think you can buy the Nomad insignia. There's a little bit of rust in the bottom. So we'll definitely fix that before we paint it. More goodies inside. Oh, wait, there's more. But I'm not done yet. So uh, Lake Avenue saw, these came from Detroit Lakes. I had 10 bucks a piece on these. These things I'm guessing are probably from the 30s, maybe the 40s. Oh, uh, we got Lake Avenue style, and then we got Summit Avenue. We actually got two of them. I know somebody named Summit, so we'll send one to them, and I don't know why I bought two, only because they were cheap. Summit Racing, maybe? Cool. I don't know. Check out these bad boys. They're super rough shape, but I've always wanted a set of anodized aluminum Moroso valve covers. They are absolutely trashed. I don't know if you can polish them out to look anodized again, and it... Looks like this engine was rolled over, but we'll just, we'll just display them that way, <laughs> backwards. I don't know how you could bend up a valve cover so bad, but Race these things were the, the hot ticket in like 87 to 93. And then Chin was born and they weren't cool anymore. But they're cool again. And then, another guy I know, had this for sale. Uh, he had a hundred bucks on it. I knew the guy, so I didn't I didn't dicker with him. My grandpa was a standard oil dealer, so I've been snagging up standard oil stuff. This isn't a high dollar sign, but should clean up pretty good. We'll get her hung up on the wall. Would that have been on a pump or would that have been on? 
That is probably on the side of a building. And then there is. Yeah, or maybe it even stuck up, hung off. I bet it did hang off the side, how it's got that contour there, but it doesn't on any of the other corners. Would it have had like the prices on it or something, the way it was boxed off? I have no idea. Hmm. I've never seen one. Neat. Anyway, this guy had a his dad's sale a little while ago. And he had a probably like a 1920s John Deere, big porcelain sign, like three foot by eight foot. And he had to buy it from the estate on a sale and he had to pay $39,000. He goes, I almost got divorced. And I'm like, that's a lot of money for a sign. But he showed me a picture, it's a pretty cool sign. I don't know, $39,000, cool. So I didn't feel bad giving him a hundred bucks for that. So this is cool. This is, uh, you get 20 bucks for this. This is art by Dave Bell. He passed away in, I think, 2012. But anyway, this was drawn in 1985 which was the year i was born uh, it's the twin city roadster swap meet and it's all framed and stuff so pretty sweet piece we'll hang that up somewhere we're kind of running out of real estate but snelling avenue in uh, st paul two bucks admission swap speeds swap spaces were free yeah Pretty cool. Dave Bell has some really cool art. Uh, he did a lot of art for Street Rod Magazine back in the day. I forget the name of it. He's a cool guy. But yeah, anyway, this Dave Bell did like, done a lot of art for back in the 50s, flyers, and then just the Minnesota Street Rod Association in general over the years. And I could just like pick out the details of his stuff over years. Deals. Wheel, Wheel and, and deal. deal. There we go. That's awesome. Yeah. Got some louvers coming down the back there. It's like a 40 Ford style dash, small block Chevy with six carbs on it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then like I said, the framework was almost worth the price of admission. Oh, last but not least, hubcaps. Five bucks. This one's super rusty. I mean, they're not great, but hubcaps are like freaking gold. And uh, as you can see, we put hubcaps and uh, steelies on white lightning here so they're the way to go five bucks i'm pretty sure like the cheapest hubcaps you can find are like 100 bucks a set on on uh the old evil bay right now and i've paid 400 bucks a set so and there's much more expensive ones granted these are just chevy painted ones but five bucks cheap investment so i don't know what i spent fair amount of money but it was like this will be a sweet deal a bunch of this is wall hangers gifts Wheels, tires, seats. I think that's a, it's gonna be a thing around here is, is wheels and tires are my jam, but wheels and tires, the stance makes anything cool. So, yeah. All right, thanks very much for watching. Uh, without folks like you, I wouldn't be able to go do dumb stuff like this. I'd probably have to stay home and work on stuff or I already would be able to be able to afford a set of Moroso valve covers. Uh, most of this stuff, I'm keeping, if you see something here that you really, really need, uh, I don't really have anything in here that's that I can ship, so you'd have to come get it. So, and most of it's got homes already. So, yeah, unless you want some like ET Street radio tires. And even then, I don't think it's worth your drive. So, thank you very much for watching. Check out our other videos, check out the merch, mortski.com. We got super scrapers on hand. We got magnetic screwdrivers and some new designs of those on hand. We got t-shirts on hand. We got ball caps, you name it, we got it. If we don't got it, you don't need it. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, it doesn't matter how you get it done, as long as you're having fun. Swap meets, real fun.